Well, of course, Turkey is well known for tourism, but it has plenty of other industries and services as well, including ship recycling. Ships are responsible for moving 90% of the world's trade, and when they get too old, they've got to go somewhere. So Sally Ihan went to visit a scrapyard on Turkey's Aegean coast where she had a smashing time. This coastal graveyard in western Turkey is what they call Blowtorch Beach. It's where ships come to die and where their remains are recycled. Navy ships, oil tankers and passenger ferries, 95% of most ships can be recycled. The machinery and equipment are reused and the oils and fuels are repurposed into alternative energy. It's a cyclical economy sensitive to the global market. Until the global recession in 2008, we were dismantling about 300,000 tons of ships. But after 2008, many ships had to be laid up and this resulted in an increase in our market. In that year, 341 ships came to our shores and we recycled 927,000 tons of scrap. But there's a new source of income spurred by the plunge in oil prices, offshore rigs. The decrease in demand for exploring and drilling has brought an oversupply of oil rigs in a short period of time. One rig can yield as much as 15,000 tons of steel. Breaking oil rigs apart is more sensitive work than ships are. We'll be more careful, and as you can see, there will be more work high above the ground, so we'll be slower and cautious. So let me put it this way, if I dismantle a ship of 10,000 tons in two months over here, it'd take me four months for an oil rig. Ship scrapyards are big business globally. China and India lead with a capacity of up to 8 million tons a year. But when it comes to workplace safety and sustainable waste management, Turkey promotes itself as the top destination for scrapping. Steel is the most recycled material in the world. It can be repurposed repeatedly without losing its quality. And it's here that it's turned into a valuable new product. In this industrial kitchen, scrap steel is thrown into this 1600 degree furnace. The molten steel is mixed with other materials before being poured into a cooling system below. It's then molded into iron cubes and then as it cools, it's remolded before being sold onto construction companies all around the world. The business of recycling steel is becoming hotter every day, while the supply of raw material seems endless. Back at Blowtorch Beach, the carcasses of the world's old ships and oil rigs wait to be transformed and in the process be brought back to life. Sally Ihan, TRT World, Izmir.